Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Victoria and I'm here with a pick a card tarot reading today. Today's tarot reading is going to be called um, their true feelings and their intentions okay so this is about your person the way they feel about you and your connection right now and what intentions they have towards you before we start I'd just like to give out a trigger warning okay because this will be quite emotional because we're dealing with feelings of love and um what and the situation that you have in some of your um connections also this is a general reading okay so take the parts that resonate with you and leave everything that doesn't resonate because this because of the general reading it's for a wider audience so it's not all the readings are not going to be for everybody okay so i just want to thank everyone that's subscribing to my channel and i really 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 am grateful also if you haven't subscribed please do so we could get that subscription subscribers to a thousand so i could do some live readings for you all that's the goal and that's the um that's the target and turn on the notification bell and then you will be notified of any of when my videos get uploaded okay and also anyone who would like personal or private reading with me um check out my sd store and um, the links will be in the description box down below right below this video okay shall we start so I'd like you to do a little meditation before you pick your number, okay? And I'd like you to just take that big, deep breath in and close your eyes. And as you release that breath and open your eyes, think about the situation that you want tarot, um, any answers or any tarot, tarot to answer any of your questions. And then release that breath and open your eyes and pick why, the pile one, pile two or pile three. Okay, welcome back to those of you who have chosen pile one today. So let's have a look at your tarot cards. Also today, I will be extending and personalizing um, your readings on my SD store. So if you'd like um, a personalized extension of this, his intentions, or if they, you really haven't quite got the whole answers that you're asking for, pop over to the SD store and click on the photo psychic reading. Okay, so if you leave me a photograph, I'll be able to connect to you a little bit better. Um, or any details you might think that I can connect with as well. And I'll be able to give you a few more answers to your readings. And don't forget to leave your email address so I can send the reading to you as I won't know where to send it. Okay. So let's have a look what your tarot, read, tarot cards say. This is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest because it won't be for absolutely everyone. So all the messages won't be for everybody, okay? Let's have a look. We have the Moonology card from Moonology deck. Nothing will come of this situation. Okay, right. Let's read, let's read your tarot cards, see what they say. I'll put that there and we'll read that a little bit more of that. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Hierophant. We have the Hanged Man in reverse. Hmm, he's very often not seen in reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles. The birds have gone crazy outside. We have the Page of Wands. Okay. Right. With you, people who've chosen number one, um, I already can see the outcome of your reading. Okay. So while I go through the cards, okay, I would urge you just stick with this reading today, okay, because some of it is a little bit shady and some of it's a bit light. But there is definite message here for those of you who've chosen this pile today it won't resonate with everyone because it's quite specific i can see it already but i urge you to stick to the end of your reading because there's a definite message for you straight at the end of your reading what i can already see but let's go through from start to finish okay now bear with me so we have this 
seven of pentacles here okay i feel like you are worried very worried about this connection i feel like you are there's a sadness about it as well it's an inner sadness you may have kept most of that to yourself and not shown people okay i feel like you're almost walking around feeling like you're the only one in the world right now because you have so much on in your head okay there's so many feelings going around your head right now because you're analyzing your situation and what's been going on with you and this person okay i feel like um i can feel this um the energy is sort of like less and less and less and less and less so i feel like this person has contacted you a lot and now it's becoming less and less and less and less and less do you know what i mean those of you will know exactly what i mean with this card i feel like this person has sort of just uh, left you there is what i've just heard okay i feel like it's really put a strain on you maybe even you feel a bit like not not wanting no appetite maybe not sleeping very well and not being interested in anything around you right now you see and this isn't very fair on you okay the 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 um, message just come out as don't lend anybody any money okay if they ask don't do it because that's a message that's just shot out from this card as well i feel like this person has promised you a lot of things they've promised you something maybe promised or maybe not said they promised you the relationship but but acted like they wanted a relationship with you they may not thinking back because you keep thinking back and thinking back and thinking back of everything that they've told you and have they ever let it slip that you they actually wanted to be with you okay i feel that this is what you're doing you're over analyzing over analyzing going over and over it again in your head because so that is stressful and putting a strain on um anxiety on you and worries i said stick with the reading so don't switch off just yet because you, there's a definite message for you at the end of this reading and i'm not just saying that it actually is there okay so it's for you people who have, have resonating with this right now so i feel like this lesson had to be learned whenever the hero fan comes out it's always about lessons learned um they, this had to happen to you because you needed to learn the lesson of life yeah so if you put all your trust in this person and they've let you down that's not going to happen again to you because you're aware of it now yeah you know what i mean i feel like there was a little sort of um not yin and yang almost like um good and evil yeah so i think that not saying this person was evil but i don't think they had i think what you wanted is not what they wanted to give you that's how i feel i also feel like you've learned some kind of lesson but it might not feel like that right now because it's it's highly emotional highly charged okay i feel like lessons have been learned you're not going to realize this lesson was learned just yet because it's too it's too highly emotional okay i feel like that you had to stick to your principles in the end so you have to stick to your ethics and what you know is right and this person i feel like was trying to change you in that so your you, the way you are as a person this person was changing that trying to change that in you but in the end you just sort of said no this is me and this is how i am so there's no way I can be, you know, off this path. This is what I feel in this reading. So, yeah, I feel like you stuck to your code, your life code. And um, this person was trying to change you, change your habits, change you. And maybe even you've not acted um, or they were trying to get you to act like you shouldn't be acting. If that means anything to you. But this hanged man here is in the reverse, which is quite, I don't see that very often. When the hanged man is reversed i do feel like this has left you feeling like some kind of um victim okay so whenever it's in reverse it's about feeling like a victim i feel like there's a definite detachment um i feel like maybe it all everything seems to happen has happened really quickly and all of a sudden and that's left you feeling quite detached from reality and um, because there's a lot in your head and 
I feel like maybe some of you feel like you've been a fool. Oh my God, why didn't I see this coming? Um, I think you connected with this person on an apathy level. So because you're highly sensitive yourself, you sort of felt sorry for them and you got swept up in what they were telling you. Okay, the door's just opened. Sorry about that. And it's closed again. <laughs> So we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Again, this person has been very, very selfish with their behavior. They sort of, if you imagine a wooden box, I can see a wooden box and they've opened the lid and they've taken you out and they've played with you a bit and they've put you back in the box and shut the lid and left you there. And that's what I can see right now. They've played around with your feelings for their own ends. They've taken you out of their box you know, open the lid, out you come, here they are, and then they stuck you straight back in the box and shut the lid and gone off. And this is how I feel what's happened. Okay. Okay. This is about them. Um, this person has been totally selfish. Okay. They've, they've been very selfish in this connection. They've taken what they want for themselves and then they've just left this trail behind them of somebody that's very upset and um feels a bit used perhaps or uh you know that's not very fair on you yeah i feel like they've just taken you out of the box and shown you off a bit and played with you for their own ends and then just say right you can get back in your box now that has definitely not made you happy okay there was already i feel like there was somebody in opposition to your connect to this connection already and somebody may have told you, you know they're not a good person to deal with or maybe it was you that was saying to you i don't know about them you know i'm not sure so this is where your lesson was learned with the hero fan here okay so not as the moonology card said nothing will come off this situation okay what it's meaning is not like you know they didn't want you or anything. They wanted you when they wanted you and for their own ends is what it's saying. Okay. So it's not good for you as a person for your life because it's what we're talking about here. Okay. So this is um, the Moonology card. Nothing will good of this come of, well, nothing good will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Okay. So it's probably best to be avoided. Okay. This person is probably best to be avoided for you it won't do you any good i feel like you need to take time out to yeah to to keep away from this person a little bit really to get your own thoughts and needs together um in the end you'll get everything that you deserve what you should have okay and there's good around the corner okay stick with it here comes the message so this good around the corner you see it wasn't all doom and gloom now who is this can you see this the page of wands okay this is much lighter energy that's come straight the end this is a good person and this is also a stranger okay this person's going to come into your life number one okay this person's going to bring you pleasure and everything that you seek that you need for to move forward yeah this person is going to be very faithful and loyal and they're just for you so this person is going to come and it's just around the corner okay so you need to do work on yourself and put this situation behind you but this person here is going to come into your life this person is a stranger okay i don't think you know them or they haven't declared their feelings for you yet if you do you may not know that they feel this way about you but it's going to take a little bit of time Okay, with the ones there. This is something starting that's very exciting and new for you. And this is for your future. Okay, because this is quite not very good situation that you have put yourself in. And they've put yourself, no, you haven't put yourself there. They've put you there because you put your trust in this person. Okay, so this is a, this, this person will be just especially for you. This is a very precious card, okay? This is why I said stick to the end because I do feel like there's a new person coming into your life that is for you, okay? This person will be for you, not like this one who's puts you in a box and takes you out when they feel like it. Let's draw a spirit message for your reading. Now, if you would like the continuation of this reading, 
as I said at the beginning, did I say it at the beginning? What carried you there? If you like the continuation of this reading on a personal level, and um, go to the Etsy store and click on the um, psychic reading uh, item. And if you send me, if you give me a photograph of your face, I'll be able to connect psychically to you, and I can give you another three cards reading that's personal just for you and anything that I pick up. Okay, that link will be in the bottom, in the, in the bottom, in the description box below the video. I might be able to tell you a little bit more about the person that's, um, or the good stranger. Let's call him the good stranger, or him or her. Okay, I am overworked. Right, this, this, I am overworked, this, they go, everything is overworked. I think you're just tired of the situation. I think they might not be overworked as in overworked. Um, with a job it could be for some of you but I do feel like it's just everything your mind is so overwhelmed and overdone with this situation that it's just you're just tired of it I think you're physically tired as well people might have, have said to you um god you look tired because it's stress and stress makes you tired I think that you don't like that feeling okay so that's the reading I have for those of you who've chosen Pile 1. It's quite specific reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? If it doesn't resonate at all, then please pick one of the other numbers or another video, okay? Because this is this is a general reading when I do these readings, and it's meant for certain people. It might not be for you this time round, and hopefully it won't be. Okay, so that's the reading I have for those of you who've chosen Pile 1 today. So if that resonated, that's brilliant. Let me know in the comments of your situations. I like reading all about what's happening to you. And um, if you want that personal reading, please click on the link on the SD store and I can give you extra reading, three card reading on the SD store. Um, check that out if you would like that. Okay, that's all I have for you today. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And I upload as, as much as I can because I do actually like when I get a quiet moment, I can do a reading for you. So I shall see you soon. And I please look after yourselves and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye. Hello and welcome back to those of you chosen pile two today in this um. How, how do they feel and what are their intentions really their true feelings and their true intentions towards you today okay this will be a quite highly emotive reading it's going to be quite high emotion I can feel it I don't know what's in the cards and I haven't cherry picked my cards I like to shuffle off camera because you don't want to see me shuffling all the cards it'll take ages and it's nice and clean if we do it just this way and then you can get your messages out okay before we read your cards just a quick word and um, this will i'll be continuing this reading on my st store okay so if you would like if i haven't quite answered all your questions and you feel like you've got a bit more to ask me personally if you go on the st store link under the description box i'm trying to think now if you click on the psychic photo reading if you give me a photograph of your face i'll be able to connect psychically with you and maybe get the um the answers um more answers for your situation that maybe i haven't done on here because this is a general reading for a wider audience okay so take on this reading take what resonates with you and then leave the rest okay this is what spirit wants to tell you right now so don't down me because you didn't like your reading which i have noticed some of you do uh right let's read the cards it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio which is from the moonology moonology deck because I'm, I'm victoria moon so i should use the moonology deck okay we have the seven of cups in reverse let's have a look at your tarot cards we have the um queen of wands in reverse we have the ace of pentacles in reverse we have the king of cups and he's the right way up and we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Right. I think this is all about, this whole reading actually is about people that are talking. I feel like that's, um, I feel like it's blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I feel like everything's been talky, talky, there's too much talking going on. Um... Right, but what I do feel like here is that 
with the, uh, where are we now? Yeah, I feel like you need a plan, okay? Or your person needs a plan of what's going to happen. I feel like they're telling you they need more organisation, more of a plan. I feel like lots and lots have been talking and not getting um, much done and not getting anywhere has been going on in your situation. Um, this person, your person has a strong will, okay, to do this, this organisation. So they're just saying, it's almost like the same, if you, you know, we do this here when I want dates, times, there's a lot of talking and not much action on all of this and the whole of this region apart from one of the cards. Okay, so this is what your person's trying to tell you right now. They want more organi organization. They may have been moaning that they don't see you enough or uh, you don't contact them enough. or But they just want this um, stuff sorted is what I hear. Okay, now with the Queen of Wands here in the reverse, what I feel like for you is... Um, <laughs> I feel, I feel like that things have gone quite strict. So I feel like this person, like um, this person of, of, you know, like a teacher, like laying down the law a little bit. Um, I need to know what's going on, when and where. That resonates with some of you. I feel like someone, a lot of talking. Somebody's trying to give a lot of advice here, okay? But I think that either one or both of you has gone blah 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 blah, or a load of rubbish. Um. I do feel like you want to watch what you're saying to people somewhere or maybe they've said too much to someone because someone may betray your confidence even if they didn't mean to if you know what I mean they weren't being um they weren't being a uh, mean they just couldn't shut up is what I, is what I feel yeah that you might have told somebody something and this person has sort of blabbed a little bit but not in a malice kind of way it's sort of it's just come out of their mouth sort of thing i wonder who's had that reading let me know in the comments if this resonates with you okay because again this reading is not general it's quite specific so, so a lot of you are not going to resonate with this reading but i have to read what tarot have given me because it was meant for you and whoever clicked on the video yeah, okay. I feel like with the Queen of Wands, it's, it's something like, you've got to do this because I don't like this sort of thing, yeah? Do you know what I mean? It's like, um, I feel like you've tried to do, they tried to do good by everybody and it's just not working. Um, like, you know, I've done so much stuff for everybody and I, why is this happening to me? This is the, why is people saying this stuff to me? And I feel like so much talking is being done. So most of it's nonsense and a lot of it is a plan. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse, okay? This person, either you or them, is sort of saying, why won't you try anything new? God, isn't this weird? It's all coming out. I feel like everything is just stuck and someone is stuck and stubborn and sticking their heels in the ground. And it's like, I'm not budging. So I feel like lots of plans are being made, but one or the other of you is just not budging or doesn't want to move from the position you're in now. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> all right, I, I've just heard that, I've just heard I, you can't help helping. <laughs> I've just heard you, they can't help helping. So who can't help helping? So somebody might be interfering is trying to help and thinking they're helping and they're not actually doing anything. Um, the intentions are good though. I don't think there's malice involved in this reading. What I do feel like is that a lot of talking has been going on and it's, some of it is really nonsense. <laughs> it's petty stuff. But somebody's trying to help and so they're trying to help and they can't help helping and they may have blabbed. Yeah, they may have blabbed but not in a malicious way because they were trying to help. Okay, I hope there's no fallout. That someone's got a little bit annoyed because someone's blabbed for no reason at all. The King of Cups is here though. You see, I like the King of Cups. Some some people don't, but I like him. I like the King of Cups because this is about somebody who knows what they want. Okay, so this person what knows what they want. They just want a plan of action going on. They want less talking, more action. There you go. So th this person knows what they want. They know what they're doing. But they just want lots of plans. And um, yeah, they just want lots of plans. 
and they want a decision to be made. They want to sort everything out. Um, I feel like they want more things in order. And at the minute, everything's scattered around. Okay, and that's what I feel. They're just asking for just more normality, really. And can someone make up their mind and um, let's uh, stop talking and I just let's do it. And, you know, just, just get on with this. That's what this person is saying. So, yeah, they want a plan of action is what I see. Okay, Seven of Swords is here. Okay, again, it's again, you need a plan for a resolution. Plans, plans, plans. Talking and plans is all this reading here. One or either of you could be a little frightened of moving forward with plans. Maybe one person saying, let's just get on with it. Let's do the plans. And the other person said, so there might be fear that's stopping everything from moving forward. So people are like, they're coming in with lots of advice. There's advices all over the place. Advice. There's a lot of talking and a lot of people with advice. Most of these cards saying the same thing apart from that one. Again, this is a resolution card, a plan for a resolution. This person is strong willed, so they're going to want a plan to be put in place. Okay, let's read your Moonology card. So it's time to release negative energy. So it's too much talking, not enough action reading this one. So um, I feel like the end of an argument is about to come. OK, and I feel like one of both of you have to stop living in fear because this person wants to make plans with you. Either plans for a new relationship or plans just to move the whole relationship forward to something else. Yeah, there's, I feel like there's too many people, too many voices involved in your connection. And maybe you need to talk. Okay, you need to talk to each other personally. But I feel like there's too many people involved, too many voices, too much advice being given. This is what your person is feeling, because that's what this reading is about. I'll, let's pull out a spirit message, see what it says. Oh, God, did you see that? No, I didn't throw that out, I swear. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm tired. There you go. They're tired of the talking. They want a bit of action. <laughs> this person is telling you, you know, less talking, more action. Too many people involved. Too many voices. Too much advice. They just want to get on with it. And that's what this reading is about for some of you. Okay. Take what resonates with you or any bits I've said and leave um, the rest, okay? Don't down thumb me because you didn't like the reading and it wasn't for you. Just please pick another number or another video because I always think that you picked the reading for a reason, yeah? You didn't click on the video for no reason. So the universe was calling you to click on the video and you chose your own number, okay? Now, if you'd like an extended, more personal reading for me, check out the FD store. And um, I think I'll do on the psychic reading, photograph reading, then I can connect with your faces. Um, and that'll be very personal and will not appear anywhere on the YouTube channel. OK, don't forget to leave an email address for that um, so I can send it to you personally if you would like one of those. OK, so that's a reading I have for you for those of you to pile two. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you liked this or check out another video playlist and uh, turn the notification bell on and then you'll be notified of any new videos coming up so that's it for today and i shall see you all soon and look after yourselves bye bye hello everyone and welcome back to those of you who've chosen pile three today let's have a look in your cards so i've already um meditated over the cards and picked them i haven't cherry picked them okay so i've shuffled meditated and um or tara's already picked them for me i don't know what's underneath so we can have a good psychic intuitive empathic reading for you um i don't shuffle on camera because it takes too long and i'd rather just give you the message and it's easier for filming as well Okay, so if you were wondering that. Um, also, before we do your cards, um, I'm going to do extended reading for this one on this subject this time because it's quite high emotional. If you'd like it personalised, if you pop over to my SD store and I can personalise the rest of the reading for you, okay, on the same sort of subject. If you, um, if you leave a photo, click the psychic photo reading i think would be best and if you leave a photograph i'll be able to connect with you um, on a psychic level 
so I can give you a personal reading on the basis of this one, okay? So the links will be in the description box if you want one of those. Okay, let's have a look at your cards. From the Moonology deck, the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. Okay, let's have a look. We have the Six of Wands in reverse from the Tarot deck. I like these cards because they're big and you can see. The Three of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Six of Swords in reverse. And the King of Pentacles. Mm. Person that you're thinking of is very wise indeed. I could see already. We'll read your tarot cards out first, and then we'll do your Moonology card. So, yeah, I feel like there's a bit of uncertainty going on. So, um, with the Six of Wands in reverse, okay? So, somebody is not sure in your connection, okay? They're not sure either it's you or them. I think it's you. Um, I just hear the word not sure as well, okay? You're not sure if you trust them. Or you're not sure what their intentions are towards you okay so either that or you don't know if they're going to come towards you or not yeah that's what's the bet the start of your reading with the three of pentacles this is about um your person wants to build and construct some kind of connection with you yeah they want to have this i think they want a relationship with you to be honest I do feel like they're coming towards you, but um, they're trying to build up the courage to come towards you because they may be a little bit shy or um, they haven't got the self-confidence to approach you for some reason. I do feel like they are going to come towards you. Um, maybe they just need that green light from you to do that. A bit like a traffic light. I just saw traffic lights, you know go stop amber that kind of thing so i just feel like they need this green light towards you for them to come to approach you because look the knight of cups is in reverse yeah this person wants to approach you and is not sure if he can do it or not so this could be a confidence thing on their behalf or they haven't they're not sure if you would say yes or um they're not sure if uh, their feelings are going to be reciprocated if you're going to feel the same way about them they're actually really scared that you're going to say no that you don't want them this is what's stopping them i think i feel like it's all irregularity going on so they may have approached you and stepped back they may have come forward and stepped back yeah so their behavior is a bit irregular and that's why so they may be coming forwards having a chat stepping back that kind of thing it's definitely irregularity between for them because i think they just don't know if they if you're gonna say yeah i fancy you as well but they are gonna come and try i tell you that now they will come towards you if they haven't already they will come back we've got the six of swords in reverse here okay Oh, hello there's going to be a declaration of love from this person it's going to come out of the blue in a surprise because i feel like your person is plucking up the courage to do it um things are going to change just all of a sudden i think they're just going to say it they're just going to come out of the blue say it um just sort of like i've got to i've got to tell them i've got to tell them how i feel i've got to tell them how i feel even though they're so scared that you're going to reject reject them it's going to come out of the blue so you're going to have this declaration of love when you don't expect it because they're working their way up to it right now to getting the courage to come towards you here it is look king of pentacles is all about thinking about everything and picking up the courage to come towards you but let me tell you something about the King of Pentacles and this person. They, if if you if you're they if you you like them as well and the love is reciprocated, they're just going to swarm you with their love. Okay, if that's what you want, because this person is capable of great great love. Okay, they're a good a good person to have around. Yeah, because they're wise. They're thinking about you all the time. They're very very wise, very wise. They think everything's in the head for this person 
they make fantastic boyfriends, girlfriends, partners, because they're all consuming with their love. They just want to wrap their arms, their loving arms around you and just sweep you up. And that's what I feel with this person, okay? So if you want that kind of uh, partner, then this is your person. They're going to be right by your side. Yeah? This is what they're after with you. Now... We've got this Moonology card. The answers you need are coming. So, yeah, this person's going to approach you for sure. It's going to come as surprise and out of the blue. But this card is telling you to just let your guard down that little bit so that you can let them in. Because they may see you as, oh, God, superficial. <laughs> so they're just saying, you know, they might think that you don't want them. So it's all about appearances for you. So they think that maybe that you're too beautiful for them or that you wouldn't fancy someone like them too beautiful, too handsome, maybe they feel inferior to you, or, um, you know that, 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 that word putting someone on a pedestal, because I think that's what they've done, yeah, they may have put you on some kind of pedestal, so it's, you know, you got to watch when you put people on pedestals, because you, they might be so far up the pedestal that you can't reach them, but I do feel like this person is going to try and make a definite approach to you, they just need to build up the courage to do it, and they're doing that right now, because you're on their mind. I think they're just going to approach you. I really do. Now, have they been flirting with you? Someone's been flirting with you. Okay. Yeah. So I, I don't wonder if this person or somebody else. Okay. It might be this person's already been flirting with you. Or this is somebody completely new and not this person. Only you can say. Those are each old pile number three. Yeah, someone's been definitely flirting, definite flirting going on. Should we choose a spirit message to see if it complements your reading and see what they have to say, really? I want to choose that one. It's sticking right out of me. It's almost unraveled. Oh, I don't feel good enough. There you go. To have that is so strange because I usually just shove it. That one was so calling to me. They don't feel good enough for you. They're actually frightened you're going to reject them. Okay, but I tell you, if you want them, they're going to be the best of partners. They, the love that they have for you is unbelievable and will grow grow for you as well for this connection. But they're definitely thinking about coming toward that you are on their mind, absolutely on their mind. Okay, they're just frightened of being rejected and not being good enough, your person. Okay. So that's the reading I have for those of you who've chosen Pile 3 today. If you'd like a little bit more on that, cut the, go to the ST store. The link's in the description box and I can do a personal reading for you there. Photo reading would be good, so click on the photo reading um, item. If you give me a picture of yourself and then I can read it for you personally there. Okay, so um, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe and grow that channel so I can get to a thousand to do go live. I'm dying to do it. I've got itchy hands and I really want to do go live. So don't forget to do that and I shall see you or oh, turn on the notification bell and then you'll be notified when my videos come up. So don't, um, I'll see you all soon with another video very, very soon and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.